a competitive creature. He will run, walk, jump, or swim his very best to prove that he can go faster, farther, or better than his fellow man. Just as men have raced cars, boats, and motorcycles, as soon as there were two snowmobilers, one had to prove he could go faster than the other. These highly tuned, modified racing machines are Thunder Jets built by Snowjet, built to learn how to build better machines for the family, built to study advanced engineering and assembly techniques, built to race, and built to win. This is a story about snowmobile racing in the winter of 1971-72. It seems at times that racing is dominated by large factory teams with huge budgets, expensive equipment, and highly paid racers. But racing belongs to the fans, who are some of the most faithful and enthusiastic in the world. And to the racers who aren't on those factory teams, but who want to compete. There are men and women who will travel all over North America to go up against the very best and those who will stay close to home and run against their friends and neighbors. So the Thunder Jet was built with these people in mind. Snow Jet doesn't have a factory racing team. And as it turned out, we don't have to. The Thunder Jet and its racers from all over the United States and Canada have racked up an impressive record of state provincial, national, and international titles. The Thunder Jet is the result of work of snow jet engineers in both Canada and the United States. The man in charge of this program is Dwayne Aho. Let's listen to what Dwayne has to say about the 71-72 racing season, how the program got started, and some of its history. Snow Jet has been back in racing for many years. They Originally, the stock machine did a fine job. We learned three years ago that that we were not as competitive. We needed certain things. There were certain things that were on all winning machines that we didn't have. Dwayne, uh, I've heard a term quite often, spending some time around you and people, other people working on the uh, the Thunderjet program. Uh, F equals M A. What is F equals M A? What's our secret formula here? It's the basic terms of dynamics thermodynamics and physics that uh, force equals mass times acceleration. If you have less mass, you have more acceleration for the same force. We have uh, competitive engines, we have the same power as anyone else, but we can uh, come off the uh, starting line faster or come out of a turn faster for lighter weight. It's a basic term for all race equipment. What about the uh, unusual looking chassis on these machines? Is this any, any different from uh, other racing machines at all? The uh, metal used? Yes, we, there's a lot of advertising about aircraft, aluminum. We, I believe, would be the only ones using true aircraft. Aluminum is much stronger than be treated. No. Well, by, by achieving a low center of gravity on a machine, uh, what advantages does that give you in, uh, in specific handling? Well, as, as in, uh, in race cars, it, uh, the same from some wheels, you don't want to overturn the velocity. The low center of gravity will you faster turns, better handling in the, uh, in the road. I've seen the moguls or the holes in the, uh, in the snow up to three feet deep in cases. And uh, hitting these uh, mobiles at 60, 70 miles an hour, the machine does leave the ground. You don't want to get crossed up, turned around, and uh, you want to stay flat and level. How about the uh, rather unusual uh, engine placement on this machine, forward and uh, quite low and to the left? How did that come about? Part of, part of it was just a nat was natural because most racing, over racing races, uh, counterclockwise. And Move the engine inward, but the real reason was to enable us to get the uh, weight of the drivetrain down, the driven pulley down, and also to give us a good sweep for our, our uh, pipes to come up. The very first major race of the season showed what was to come. 
as Snowjet took three first places at Ironwood, Michigan. State championships were won in Montana, Minnesota, Utah, and Wyoming, among others. Provincial titles were won in Saskatchewan, British Columbia, Manitoba, and Quebec. And on to the biggest races in Canada, the Carapa and World Cup races in Peterborough, Ontario. Some of the factory racers were so impressed that they stopped to watch Jim Adam go by. Oh, <laughs> my